We can't forget about our friend the tangent function, so it's time that tangent got its props here. Saw this equation equal to zero, and the first thing I noticed is that tangent is a common factor. So I should say tangent of x just to be extra careful there. Factoring out tangent of x, we have tan x minus root 3, all that equals zero. So we can set each factor equal to zero. And it looks like the one on the right gives us tangent x equals root 3. Now, one thing at a time. Remember that tangent of x equal to 0. Now, tangent was the graph that looked like the EKG, basically, right? So it had a fundamental period from zero, or negative pi over 2 to pi over 2. And this is 3 pi over 2. Bottom line is that there were two intercepts at 0 and pi. So there we can hopefully be comfortable getting the radian form right away. Okay, so 0 and pi are 2 with the solutions. Now as far as square root of 3 goes, we know the tangent is positive in two quadrants, 1 and 3. So we know that our angle is going to land in one of these two, in both of those two quadrants. Now square root of 3, this one might be less familiar, but if you go back far enough, you might remember that this is going to be 60 degrees, the magic angle. So, 60 degrees here, 60 degrees here. And that means that our actual angles are 60 degrees. And if I go around 180 plus that 60, that's 240. And converting those to radians, we would have pi over 3 and 4 pi over 3. So this equation has four solutions. 0, pi, pi over 3, 4 pi over 3. And there we have it. So as long as you know your ratios for tangent, this one went relatively quickly. If you're stuck, and I'll give you this little tip as well. If you're stuck, you could just go, you know, if you're not sure what the angle is, go to your calculator in degree mode, type in the inverse tangent of the square root of three, and you should get 60 degrees, and that should get you off and running. So just a little tip. Thanks so much. Come back for more videos later.